let's do another TikTok reaction. So, um, let's react to this video. Just because a man owns a home does not mean that the man is not broke. Back in 2019, I technically, I mean, his net worth is that home. So, is he broke? Uh, it's a seven minute video. So, I'm going to pause and play, pause and play, right? Pause and react, pause and react. Um, but technically, right, that's his net worth, that home. So really, he's not broke, per se. He, his his wealth is in that home. Broke men don't really own homes. I was dating somebody, and I guess we fell in love quick. He was like what I, what I would refer to as a narcissist because he definitely love-bombed me for six months. Love-bombing is... Is, that's not really a narcissistic quality, is it? It's, it's just, I, I, I'm tired of women just shoot around the word narcissism everywhere. That's a red flag. Introduced me to his family, to his coach, took me back to his hometown. He said we were going to get married. He said we were going to be together to, forever. He said this is it. He's never found somebody so special. Like he would hold my hand, gaze into my eyes. Like it's like there's no other girl in the world that existed. 2019, he buys a house and he asked me to move in with him. And mind you, like he made a lot of money. Like he made at least a thousand dollars a week more than I did. And I made a lot of money. So I'm like, okay, like this is going to be great because this is kind of like going to be the partnership. Like we're going to be able to make moves. We're going to be able to move forward. We're going to be able to really build. He says we're going to get married and have kids and we will be able to do that because with all the money that we're making, I don't see how and with how much he loves me, I don't see how this is not going to work out for me. So back in 2019, houses in Atlanta were way cheaper. You could have a nice home for 200,000. And if you're a first time home buyer, you only have to put 5% down. So what, what was that? That $10,000. I move into his house and really quickly, I kind of realized that there isn't furniture in the house. And he's like, well, I'm gonna wait to buy the furniture. You know, I lived in an apartment before and I didn't really have furniture in the apartment. So I'm just gonna wait to buy the, the house. And you know, so we only really had a bed, a kitchen table and the couch his mom bought for him. So I buy the flat screen for the living room because I'm a woman and I, pfft, Silly me would always do my womanly duties. I was like, okay, I'll take care of everything in the kitchen. I'll buy the toaster, the coffee maker, the knives, the utensils. Um, and therefore, because I like to cook, because he didn't really like care what he ate. He kind of ate like trash. Like he just drank a juice and he was like, I'm fine. Um, but because I needed to like eat actual meals, I was like, you know what? I'm going to also buy the groceries. It, like two, three months later, COVID hits. At this point, cause COVID had hit, obviously we didn't have any work. And I think he got like, we didn't, I didn't apply for my unemployment benefits, but that's another story. But I never got unemployment during COVID. I did get like the stimulus checks that everybody got, but I actually lived off my savings. So when we finally, me and him had a conversation about where the money was at, I really learned that he had no money. <laughs> like he had only had the $10,000 and that's what he used to buy the home with. And he was thinking like no one ever thought that the pandemic was going to happen. So he was thinking that, oh, well, I'm just going to go to work and save money and then I'll be able to like start to furnish the house. But then of course, because the world shut down, that never happened. But me, like one thing about me is like, I'm going to save, like I'm going to stack. So I had 50 K going into the pandemic but because of that. Like he also, I know there was like a way that you could halt the mortgage payments and not make them, but he didn't want to do that. Like he said that that was going to be depressing to him. So boom, I start paying the mortgage. We were pretty much out of work for like seven, eight months. So when I came out the pandemic, I started working immediately and because me and him both work freelance, he didn't start working immediately. So what happened? I feel like he started. So, so far, right? My, my thing is that she was stupid, right? I mean, she didn't say how long she knew this man, but I think it's idiotic that she moved in with him. Like, 
how it sounds, right? How it sounds, she moved with him quickly. She said that she felt like they fell in love quick. So that's the thing where with it that's idiotic. Absolutely idiotic. Okay. This is this is one of the things that women are just constantly failing at. Vetting men. Take time. Take take your time and actually figure out this man. Seeing how he how, how he moves through different situations. See his mindset, right? This is the thing, right? If I would say this, my here's my holding men accountable. If this man is going to buy his own house, he has to handle his shit. A man that doesn't handle his shit, that's not up to standards. Not not in my eyes. So really, this man wasn't holding his shit down. I always say this. I'm not saying any man to be a millionaire. I'm not saying any man to be a six-figure man. I'm saying all you have to be is a man that holds down your shit. You can take care of your own, right? Take care of yourself where you don't need someone to pay for your mortgage. Okay? You don't. Because this is the thing where women like this will hold it against you. Women like this will see you in a different light. If you're not even a less taking care of yourself. So that's why I think that that's a already a red flag that she allowed. She shouldn't have moved in with him already. She shouldn't. She should have been on her own and doing her own thing. While this man uh, is taking care of his life. They should still be in a relationship, right? Figuring out each other. But this is the thing. You rushed into it. I, I, I believe that they probably moved in after a few months of knowing each other. That's stupid. Getting like almost like jealous because I do. Men are jealous of women. Not all men, but men are jealous of women. So I start working and he's like really down and depressed. I try to make him feel better, but he just doesn't want to get better. And, and meanwhile, this whole time, like um, he doesn't want to celebrate my birthday. He doesn't want to celebrate Christmas. Everything that we do, like even when he jealous. I mean, this is the thing, right? It is amazing that men have to understand women when they get postpartum, right? When they're depressed. When women are depressed, men need to understand it, empathize with it, uh, work around it, help out and shit like that. But when men are actually depressed, women look at it as weakness. They, they put negative connotations to it. Jealousy. He started working everything that we did he wanted to go half if we went anywhere like out of i would pay for my own ticket he would pay for his own ticket um we would probably split the rental we would split the hotel like everything was basically like 50 50. so i had help during the pandemic carried most of our weight but there was never like i'm gonna take you out on a date there was never like i'm gonna buy you something nice there was never like actually him being like thank you so much for holding it down think because my whole thing was i had fifty thousand dollars in the bank because i was gonna buy a house but because he bought a house and then i realized that he didn't have money i took my money and i basically helped support us because I was that silly. So to make the long story short, at the end, it didn't matter that I went 50-50 with him. It didn't matter that I was capable of holding it down, holding him down, because I basically one night came home from work and I walked in on him and somebody else in our bed. So that's why I do not believe in going 50-50. Like I just turned 30. My last ex-boyfriend also was kind of like financially like, you know, not that good. And I also helped. And I've just realized that it gets you nowhere. So just beware because broke men, it's not always the same. They don't come with the same story. So that's why you get confused because everybody got so mad at me online because my ex-boyfriend is a homeowner. But just because you're a homeowner, it does not mean that you are financially okay. You can buy a home in Atlanta for not a lot of money, especially if you bought one before COVID. I bought mines after, so mines was more expensive. But if anybody purchased a home in Atlanta before COVID, 
your 5% down was literally like $10,000. So do not go 50-50 with these men because they will. That's not, it's like, it's, she's kind of conflating the two, right? A broke man, he can't even, he can't do 50-50 because he can't even pay his own. That's a broke man, okay? This is the thing. Well, I said that women can't vet men. Don't move in with him when you don't know him well enough. This is it's, this is the thing where, here's the thing, where women choose terrible men and think this, this signifies all. This signifies things, right? This is how men are. No, this is not. Okay? This man, why I think if he I later on said let's do 50-50 and all that stuff, is that maybe he was just trying to stack his own, right? While he's uh, not having the burden of, you know, the burden of paying for you. Um, so this is the thing. It's like, and let's not... Um, Let's not fool ourselves. I think that here's a woman that chose terribly and think that she knows men. N no, that's not how it works. Okay? You chose terrible. You didn't properly vet a man. So it's your doing. You 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 didn't take the right amount of time to actually figure out this man. See how this man works, you know? Uh figure out his morality, his principles, how he operate during different situations well that's your fault right that's your fault so really talking about broke men i mean i don't know many broke men that has 10k you know they could just spend i don't know how many broke men can do that and here's the thing where she um talk about going through covid with a man well yeah if a man went through covid might life not be might be easy life is not this is the thing where most women get with average men right most women will get with average men because most women are average they're average themselves so here's a man that went through covid yeah he probably expected to continue having a job to earn money well the sad thing is that covid uh struck and it hurt a lot of people okay Yes, he probably should have been more financially uh, literate where he should have saved and um, invest and had more earnings, had more income or had more um, side money, which please, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to make other videos about that because I want to talk about uh, how men should invest, how men should save, so on. So st stay tuned for those videos. Um, but that's the thing where, you should have figured that out, right? You should have figured what what kind of man he was, right? What how financially literate he was. That should have been one of the questions, one of the criteria where you actually figure out about the man. You didn't. So really, how can you blame the man when that's not that wasn't a requirement, right? That wasn't a requirement you have. I just I just think that women make foolish okay, choices. Don't want to do just because and then blame men for it that's why i think it's insane i'm sorry let's uh finish that out would he commit to you like when i read that not that long ago that changed everything and so capable they it does not work out for you you it's almost like you need a man to invest in order for a man to feel that commitment towards you because if he's not investing why would he commit to you? Like when I read that not that long ago, that changed everything for me. So Cardi B saying 50-50, girl, you are so crazy. Like you are just so like, be for real. Like, oh, because when he's down and you hold them, when he's back up, he's going to give you princess treatment. No, he's not. Because now he knows what you're capable of doing. So he's going to expect the same thing. So he's going to be pocketing all his money. And when men have too much money, that's when they start thinking wild things. And you walk in on him with a chick in your bed. But this is the thing where maybe women don't even talk about, right? Maybe he starts seeing that you no value in you. And this is the thing where women don't understand, right? If he, if men see very little, if they're not happy with you, and they see very little value in you, they will act up. 
right? At, at least certain men, right? And I think those type of men are what these women go after. If these type of men see no value in you or they're not happy with you, they will start acting up. So don't say that men, no, no. Just the men that you want, men that you're attracted to. Because a lot a more men, right? Majority of men, in my opinion, they want a woman that builds with them, right? They want a woman that's been there through thick and thin with them. Most men do. But it's just the men that you go after, okay? I'm guaranteeing you, which what, what, which what most women go after are those type of men. The men that, you know what? They will cheat on you. They will lie to you. They will manipulate you. Or they will, if they're up, they will leave you, right? But those are the type of men that women go after because they don't properly vet these men. They don't properly figure out these men. They don't ask the proper questions and figure out these men in a proper way or put time into it. Because you, like I said, she shouldn't have moved in with this man so quickly. So really, it is her, her undoing. It's her fault for going about this the wrong way. Right? I'm saying that that man is terrible for cheating on her. But again, she should have gone about it correctly. So I just I just think that's foolish. I think it's foolish. And again, this is the problem with a lot of women where they all they want already built men. Okay? They want men that have the money already. But for average women, right? The men that makes the money, right? Average men, right? That makes that money, they're much older already. They are already uh, in their late late 30s, late 40s, right? These men are older. They've been there. They've built. Because it takes time for average men, right? It takes time for, the, for men to build the finance, right? So let's say this woman, she says, she, what? She says she's in her 30s or whatever. Well, it takes time. Not a, not many men that are just in their early 30s that will have it down financially. So, I don't know. I, I just think it's... And she's average, right? She's cute. But it's like, most women are average. That's it. Most women are average. Um, yeah, probably 75% of women are average. If, you know, if more. Uh, so, uh, this is the thing where... It is bet for average women. It is more logical for you to find a good man, a good man, and build with that good man. So it is. It is harder for women to, or different, right? Because again, unless you want to date older, much older, you're not going to find a financially stable man necessarily in your own age bracket. Okay, not necessarily. I mean, there are some men. That may be around your age and doing well financially. But again, I don't think that's the majority, right? Again, it takes it takes a good amount of time for men to build that financial stability. Uh, and again, like I said, most women are average. So the most common way, the best way to do it is find a good man, morally sound man, right? A man that at least can take care of himself, He's not asking a woman to pay for his mortgage, right? He's not asking a woman to pay for his bills. And build with that man. Build with that man. Be with him through thick and thin. I think that's how it is. I think that's the best way for average women, for the majority of women, that's the best way to do it. Especially if you want a man that's around your same age. Build with the man. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I mean... <laughs> 